Rise up, rise up, brothers and sisters, boys and girls, kings and queens, friends, frenemies, and your agents. I'm Brother Marley. This is the Gambia One channel. And this around me is the Gambia. And that's Jaden's just outside here chilling. I'm so flipping inspired right now. You have no idea. So listen. What is the point of all of us diasporans coming over here? It's weird, you know, I, I hear, I hear talk from certain groups who speak about how important it is to stay where you are, stay there in the States, stay there in Europe. Don't go to Africa, no, no point. I hear people talk like that. But today, Right, that's out. Today, I was, uh, I was, conf I, conf I had it confirmed that coming here is the right thing. So I had a customer come in earlier on, Gambian man, and he said he's going to go to a restaurant down the road, um, a, a Lebanese restaurant, and he's decided that he'll try me I'm a bit closer and if I'm the same quality as them then he'll keep coming to me I said I can guarantee you we're at least 10 times better than them the seasoning that we're giving you the flavors the care and attention the, the portion size 10 times better that's what I can guarantee so he had a smile on his face he said okay Mr. Hot Shot with your big words bring me the food so he, 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 he came in but what inspired me was, he said, your face looks familiar. And I was like, oh yeah, I've got this YouTube channel. Sometimes people recognize me uh, here in the Gambia. And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also, I, I, said, I, I watch your videos, I also watch uh, Black Acres of the Gambia. I said, okay, yeah, cool, they're, they're cool people. They live up the road not too far. He said, they have a farm. I said, yeah, yeah, they have a farm. It's good. The food tastes delicious in the farm. And he said, after watching their video, I was inspired to open a farm of my own. I had to sit down because what's happening here in the Gambia, too many times for me to be comfortable with it. What's happening here is that uh, local people, local Gambian people, for the most part, they see people like myself and tourists come in. We just use our debit card or credit card, we take money out of the machine, we've got money, right? So people have an idea that what success looks like is working in an office somewhere or working in Europe or working in the States and then getting that money and coming over and and sporting but what this brother said was that he saw that Uncle Rick and Auntie Cynthia were toiling away at the land in Gambia and having these big um, what's the word looking for having this, these yields had, had, had big yields had, had food coming in and so he felt inspired to do the same thing himself. So he decided to create, to grow corn because there's a lot of um, local poultry farmers who cannot uh, keep up with the prices of imported chicken because they're paying so much for imported chicken feed. So he's saying that he could sell his corn to those farmers on the cheap they can then sell their, their their chicken at a reasonable rate. People like me as, as a restaurateur, I can buy that chicken in, sell it on. Everybody's happy. So obviously I got nosy, didn't I? So I said, bro, how, let me ask you a question. How much how much money are you expecting from this, this farming endeavor? This man has hectares and hectares of land. Given to him. Not, not like 
like me and other poor souls who buy land and have to go through physical planning and all that stuff and spend my money and are you scamming me? None of that. Given to him. He says that he makes 251,000 Dallas per per hectare. 251,000 per hectare. And he has 91 hectares given to him. So that's off of that's that's not like maximum yield, right? That's sort of like middle. He says that the minimum you can do is five tons per per hundred meters, and um, the maximum is fifteen tons. He's talking about just ten tons. He's going in the middle, and um, that's the kind of money he's making now. That's good money anywhere in the world. But in Gambia, that's kingmaker money. That kind of money is the sort of money you make when you are you are chief. You are like that's don't mess with me money. That's what he's on. And this brother is is and was inspired by Uncle Rick and Auntie Cynthia watching their videos. So, hats off to you, to the Black Acres of the Gambia, and everybody else from the diaspora who are over here in the Gambia, doing our bits. Um, you know, whether you're um, Terry and Kenny, whether you're um, come on, I can't remember the names. Uh, whether you're Gary and Natalie, uh, whether you're Juliet and Adrian, you may not think that people see you, but they see you. They see you. And just by your endeavors and your integrity and your work ethic, you are inspiring a whole flipping nation. So I'm very, very proud to be part of this community. Uh, I'm very, very proud to be in this country. I'm very, very proud of my Gambian brothers and sisters. This is me, Brother Mali, with a big smile on my face. I want to say big up to you, much respect. This is the Gambian One channel, and I'm out. Peace!